Over time, the nozzle of your 3D printer is going to wear out and need replacing, and even faster if you're regularly printing with more abrasive materials. Even if it's not worn out, you may want to swap it with a different size nozzle to allow you to print either faster or much finer detail. It's previously been a bit of a laborious task to change the nozzle on your printer, but luckily the Bamboo Lab A1 is one of the easiest nozzles to change of any printer, and in this video I'm going to show you how. The 3D printer nozzles are referred to by the diameter of the hole that they extrude through, and for the Bamboo Lab A1 there are four native sizes available. There's 0.2mm, 0.4mm, which is the size that it comes pre-fitted with, 0.6mm and 0.8mm. The bigger the diameter, the faster you'll be able to print because the bigger area that it is printing at a time, although you'll still be limited by the speed at which it can actually melt the plastic ready for extrusion, and the smaller the diameter, the finer detail you'll be able to print in both X and Y axis. On the Bamboo Lab A1, switching to a 0.2mm nozzle also gives you native access to print at layer heights of 0.06mm, compared to the stock minimum layer height of 0.08mm when you're printing with a 0.4mm nozzle, so technically it can also improve Z-axis detail as well. Whether you're replacing the nozzle because it's worn out, or you just want to swap to a different size nozzle, the process is the same. The first thing that you'll want to do is unload any filament that you've got in the printer, which you can either do by following the unload process, or you can just press the cut button on the side of the extruder. Roll back the filament so it's no longer in the extruder, and then turn off and unplug your printer, making sure you've let it cool down first if you'd heated it up to unload. Now remove the front cover of the extruder carriage by lifting up from its base. Although the extruder motor will still be encased, this will reveal the heat sink and the nozzle which is hidden behind the silicon sock marked caution hot which will allow us to change it. To give us easier access to remove the silicon sock, slowly and carefully move the extruder along the X axis away from the nozzle cleaner. Pull the top sides of the silicon sock towards you and then reaching underneath, unhook the bottom of the silicon cover from the bottom of the nozzle. This will reveal a metal clasp around the nozzle, all you need to do is unhook it like this. Then, to remove the nozzle, grasp the heatsink and pull it towards you, tilting the bottom out first. And as you can see, the nozzle and heatsink assembly has all been removed together. It is now time to add your new nozzle. You can see that on the back here there is a magnet fitted in the heatsink and this will help keep it in place before you get the clasp fitted. So put the magnet in first, this should be facing the extruder. If you angle this in, so the top goes in first and then it slots up in place. Once it's seated nicely, just flip the clip over and then lock it in place. Now you need to fit the silicon sock. I find the easiest way to do this is to push the top in over that clasp and then fold the bottom down under the nozzle, making sure you don't put too much force on the base of the nozzle so you don't bend it. Finally, refit the front panel of the extruder carriage by hooking it on top and pushing in the two clasps. Let's have a quick recap of this process. Remove the front panel by lifting from the bottom, Remove the silicon sock by pulling the top towards you and then unhooking it from the nozzle at the bottom. Unhook the front of the nozzle using this clasp, then lift it out bottom first. Enter your new nozzle with the top going in first and then hook it in place with the magnet latching at the back. Slot over the latch at the front. Add your silicon sock back to it by it pushing on at the top and then hooking down underneath the nozzle. And then refit the front panel of the extruder. If you were replacing your nozzle because it had worn out, and you replaced it with the exact same one, then technically that's it, you're good to go and start printing again, although there is one more thing that I'll mention in a minute. If, however, you've replaced it with a different size, or you've moved between stainless steel and hardened steel, you now need to let your printer know what nozzle you have fitted. On your A1 screen, go to Settings, on the second page go to Maintenance, then into Nozzle, and then select the nozzle that you've fitted to your printer. Once you've selected it, go back, and you'll see that your now selected nozzle is listed on the maintenance page. So that's your Bamboo Lab A1, good to go with your new nozzle. Now, if you've changed the size of your nozzle, and this is the first time that you're printing with this size on this printer, you may need to add the new preset for this size nozzle in Bamboo Studio. Depending on the presets that you selected when you set up Bamboo Studio, your new nozzle size may not be listed here under the drop-down menu, 
and if you go into the settings, you won't be able to change the nozzle diameter because it's a fixed preset. In this case, go up to the cog symbol on the printer tab and then go down to Bamboo Lab A1. Tick next to each nozzle size you plan on using and then click confirm. These nozzle size presets will now be added to the drop down menu and you can jump to these at any time. So that's your printer set up and Bamboo Studio good to go. The last thing to mention is relevant to dynamic flow calibration. If you've run this before and you've got numbers saved, you're probably going to want to run it again. Because even though you've stuck with the same size nozzle, the variance in the manufacturing process of the nozzles is going to mean that your previous calibrations are probably not going to perform as well. Other than that, you're good to go and good to start printing. If you found this video useful, please make sure you hit the like and subscribe buttons. It makes a huge difference to me and I've got a lot more videos on the way which I'm hoping that you'll find really useful. Thanks very much guys and until next time, happy printing. If you found this video useful and you'd like to see more from me in the future, why not support me and my channel like my amazing 3D revolutionaries here by hitting the join button below this video and getting access to exclusive goodies including the 3D Revolution Discord community. For now, why not check out some of my other videos and until next time, thanks very much and happy printing.